Tavis Avey here, back again with another shoulder rest and chin rest review. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel to see more reviews like this one or for some free lessons or original music videos. What I wanted to do was give you an update on the shoulder rest and chin rest I currently use and also give you some key differences between the top three sh shoulder rests that I recommend. The setup that I have on my violin today is the Wave 1 1.5 inch chin rest and the Kuhn, the KUN shoulder rest that we all know and love. Kind of like dominant strings, it's a standard shoulder rest and I went back to it after trying out the Performa shoulder rest that I reviewed before and the main reason is that it seems to support uh, my violin in a more stable fashion and what I mean by that is the Performa when placed on the violin gets a kind of a freedom of movement which is good for some players but I'm concerned about an injury and I wanted to get a little bit more height out of my shoulder rest so with these long coon feet I was able to achieve that this Performa is outstanding and a couple questions from some reviewers required some explanation as to who it is good for. As I stated in a previous review, I feel like the Performa is really good for players who are shorter than 5 foot 10 and it is really best used in a lower setting so that it's more flush with the violin at this point. And I, I do echo what I said in a previous review that it's extremely comfortable, probably one of the most comfortable shoulder rests that I've reviewed. But the most comfortable might not be the best for you or for me. And having gone through a pretty, pretty severe injury, I wanted to ensure that I got a little more height out of the violin and also reiterated a, a solid foundation that I was taught. And I felt like the Kuhn could do that get a little more height out of the feet and a little bit more curve downward. Also a key feature of the Kuhn is that the the angle of the shoulder rest can rotate a little bit whereas the Performa slope, the slope of the shoulder rest going downward away from your neck is fixed. So these feet don't rotate on this axis where the Kuhn does. That's another key difference between the Kuhn and the Everest, which is also kind of locked into position. So if, if I place this Everest on my violin, it's most similar to the Kuhn, but it does feel that it's more locked into a position that you kind of can't get out of. So for the people that I've been recommending it to are students because they kind of need that reminder of a solid stable foundation in terms of rigidity this is probably the most rigid and stable which is a good thing for students then the coon i would say does encourage uh, a stable foundation and then i would say that the performa encourages more of a freedom of movement that the other two don't have. So these are different, right? The Performa is placed primarily on the shoulder where the Kuhn supports from this point of your shoulder down towards your sternum. And I felt like it was a better fit for me. Now, in terms of the chin rest, I have gone back <laughs> and forth between the Whitner Augsburg, which I reviewed previously on this channel. Again, probably the most comfortable chin rest that I've used. Center mounted, height adjustable, and a reviewer sent me a note that I could heighten the chin rest a little bit more with some inserts, and I'll try to link them below, and it works very well in that capacity. But, again, the most comfortable is not the best for me. I know that sounds strange, but what I was trying to do is raise my head up, 
to to uh, I guess reduce further injury from my my uh, previous injury and I felt like the wave did that for me so while not as flush with <laughs> my jaw as the Augsburg the wave encouraged me to keep my head more towards the rear of my body instead of jutting over the tailpiece with the Augsburg you know it could be user error it's not necessarily the fault of the chin rest but the 1.5 height and I had gone up to a 2 inch special ordered for me and I moved down to the 1.5 I've also tried and reviewed the Wave 2 and compared it to the Wave 1 and I found the Wave 1 helped me keep my head a little bit more centered instead of turn to the left which the Wave 2 was recommended for it, for players who turn, turn their head to the left this chin rest kind of supported a solid foundation in combination with the Kuhn that works well uh, for my situation. So let's talk about one more option. Another re reviewer uh, wanted to know if there was a Wittner Augsburg side mount. And there is. And it's called the Zurich. The Zurich is, I don't know if you can see here, more like the Guarneri style chin rest that goes over the tailpiece but um, is held by your jaw more on the left side than the Augsburg. Augsburg, Zurich, <laughs> it's hard to remember these things. But I, I felt like the Zurich was incredible, also height adjustable, also capable of being fit with those inserts. The, the main problem with the Zurich is that it's too small. I felt like this plate here was not large enough for my giant head. And if you're, if you're a child, I think this would work perfectly. A positive feature of this is that this lip right here does hook into your jaw pretty well. So it does feel secure, but I felt like there wasn't enough material for my, my big face <laughs> while, while I was playing. And I, I'm also not quite sold on um, chin rest that's so far to the left for me. So, let me think if there's anything else. Oh yeah, there's one more thing. Why use the Wittner Augsburg over a traditional wooden, mo wooden model or the Wittner Zurich? Well, they're adjustable. They're plastic, which is less weight than wooden models. So if you're concerned about weight, definitely very light, both of these. And also hyper, hypoallergenic, so you're not going to get that hickey as often with these. Now, am I getting the hickey as often with this wave? No, not at all. I would say there's less, uh, I, don't, I don't know, friction, I, I would say, at this point when, uh, when compared to using a more traditional wooden chin rest where I would be gripping down. I'm also trying to grip a little bit less, but for some reason with this wave, I haven't experienced that that patch of skin right here bunching up into some strange configuration. And as a result, um, not getting as much of a hickey could be that I'm practicing less, but I'm not gonna admit to that at this point. Anyway, wanted to give you an update on what I currently use now the best like I used that term the best in a previous review and the best is really subjective also I go back and forth between shoulder rests pretty often and um, I experiment as often as I can because I'm trying to play better and also be more comfortable at the same time so you know if you bought the Performa or you bought the Everest at the very least hopefully you learn something about the way that you play and what's right for you through the process of experimentation. And that's really what this is all about. I'm not selling these products and I don't get paid to sell any of this stuff. Although this performer was sent to me for free, I bought a ton of stuff and not getting paid for it. So hopefully that helped you out a little bit. Again, my name is Kava Saidi and I hope you hang out on the channel. I got 
a ton of lessons I just uploaded for beginners. So if you're a teacher and you have beginners stuck at home during quarantine, I made a lesson for the entire Essential Elements series. Also, just came out with a rock violin album you might be interested in if you click down below. All right, hope you enjoy this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.